Major protests outside LAPD headquarters by the family of a burglary suspect who died of cardiac arrest after being tased, hogtied, and left in a prone position. Welcome back. I'm David Ono. I'm Ellen Leva. Javana and Mark are off tonight. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5 live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. The protesters say police used excessive force as they tried to arrest 37-year-old David Rivera last summer. Now attorneys are taking legal action, launching a federal lawsuit against the department on the family's behalf. And Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has more. Calls for justice from the family of Daniel Rivera during a protest at LAPD headquarters. Rivera died while being taken into custody by police. Protesters accused the officers of using excessive force. Mr. Rivera was incapacitated. An LAPD officer at the lower end of his body tased him four times. In August of last year, police went to an Arlita neighborhood responding to a call about a burglary suspect. Four officers pursued Rivera, who scaled a fence and climbed down into a wash. Police body cam video shows Rivera face down on the ground. Authorities say he resisted being handcuffed, officers using their body weight to pin him down and tasing him. Paramedics were called after the 37-year-old became unresponsive. He died of cardiac arrest at the scene. Instead of trying to preserve the life of Daniel Rivera, these LAPD officers used unnecessary and excessive force by tasing him while he was laying face down on the ground, posing no threat. Our loss has totally changed my life. Rivera is survived by his mother and a 17-year-old son. Attorneys are taking legal action, filing a federal lawsuit against the LAPD on the family's behalf. Because every single person that was there participated, they did what they did. If they were willing to do that, they should be willing to pay for what they did. The LAPD says it does not comment on pending lawsuits. Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.